All right, today, Tea Hive, I have come to update you guys on the daytime tea time video that was put out about the Savages and Cass Jones. Now, I've spoken with Cass Jones, and I'm going to let some audio play. But before I do, I just want to let you guys know that this was a real conversation that I happen to have been recording. I probably told her that I wasn't recording, and I was. Also, at one point, she did know that I was recording because I told her that I was later on in the conversation and in earlier conversations. I also want to point out that this is the second conversation that we have had, and there had been numerous conversations after that. Cash Jones, as an update for you guys, has lost someone very close to her, and I want to offer her condolences from me and the tea hive if she allows me to share this with you i'll do so at a later date but for now i want to let you guys hear her response to the story that was put out by daytime tea time about the savages and her flirting i also want to let you hear her response to daytime tea time as a blog as well Mind you, once again, this is a real conversation and there are going to be some discrepancies in the recording. It was not meant to be played in this fashion, but following events, it is very necessary. All right. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please stand firm in the mindset that I am non-biased, no matter what people think. And please make sure you leave your comments, like and subscribe. And you, you swear up and down that you didn't send those audio tapes to daytime tea time. No, I put that on my child. I put that on my life, my child's life. No, I didn't send her that whatsoever at all. I wouldn't have called so upset. I mean, because she claims she's going to play the audio recording. At the beginning of it, I'm literally cussing and yelling. Like, where did you get it from? Tell me the email address. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like so upset. Like, I didn't hear that. No. No. Because right. John seems to be under the impression that you sent daytime tea time those tapes. And that's the reason why y'all... No, I didn't hear that. You know. When it comes down to John I mean, the whole time I've dealt with John you know, she's emotional. She's going to be back and forth. She's talking these thoughts around in her head all day long. So she always was doing that. That was part of the fiasco that happened in New York, you know? She was telling them I was a mole at that time, and they was looking at her crazy, like, well, if this girl is a mole, why y'all brought her here, you know, and what's the deal? I mean, it was a huge thing that night, and I'm looking crazy, like, if you don't trust me, and I told them that a million times, if y'all don't trust me, we don't have to deal with one another. I'm in this because of you, you know what I'm saying? And if you get to the point now where you feel like, now that I'm getting involved, you don't trust me, then just we can break this off. Right. She always does that. She always goes back and forth with, oh, I think she's this and I think she's that, but no, I don't. And then, you know, she's been doing that for just earlier last year. She's been doing that for a while. Right. Is that. Well, I'm not surprised. And I mean, after hearing, let me tell you, okay, the audio with me laughing and my cousin at the end, first of all, that audio was for nobody. And that audio was never in my phone. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if at the end, like, you hear where I'm like, oh, my God, get this. Like, that audio, I never had access to it. It was never in my phone. We was, they, he started recording Tim because he never heard Tim that goddamn man. He was like, oh, my God, listen to Tim. It was early in the morning. And Tim called early in the morning. And Tim was like, oh, well, you heard him. He was on a million. Right. It was pretty funny. Was I don't usually hear him talk like that, like you said. And my cousin thought it was hilarious. And I was just like, oh my God, that's why I trust you. And I'm like, Lord have mercy. I know you remember, like, it's too early, Jesus. Lord, like, I was not, you know what I'm saying? And first of all, I didn't even know Tim was going to flirt at the end. Like, I didn't, and I, it was never in my phone. And that's what I told Josh. Like, I was like, Josh, I didn't even have access to it. If you listen to it, I'm like, oh my God, get this. Like, I didn't even have it. I still don't have it. Right. That's why I'm like, I don't have access to it. Who send it? That's why when they got the DM from the lady, I'm like, 
oh my god, who said this? Like, where did emails come from? What did you know? Because it's more. It's been more than just me involved. In I mean, mm-hmm. at this point now, of course, with all the stuff that's going on today, I. I mean, hell, this before today, I regret even being in the middle of this shit. But there's nothing I can do about that now. So I can't go with the woulda, shoulda, coulda. It's just where I'm at right now. That's what it is. Right. But it so it was that flirting situation that made you and the savages like break apart. Hold hold on. Sorry about that. People don't know how to conduct business. Oh, so fucking with my patience. But um, I was saying so that situation with with the flirting that's what pretty much broke y'all apart, or was it before that? Um. Well, I'll say this. We had a lot of bumps in the road. Because if there would be one day that I didn't pick up my phone the whole day, mm-hmm. which, I mean, I need them to understand I have a life son. You know, my grandmother, well, one of my grandmothers right now is in the hospital, but my other grandmother has dementia. I care for her. My grandfather has cancer. I care for him. So I still have a life outside of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I didn't answer my phone one day, John four hours old. You know what I'm saying? Charlie four, I was doing this and I was doing that. And I'm like, Okay, Jocelyn, like, I can't, you know, and when I first started talking to her about certain things, it was like, him buddy in and was like, listen, you cannot talk to Jocelyn. Like, he kind of broke me and Jocelyn up because it started getting to the point where Jocelyn just could not hold water. Anything that she was hearing, she's running off getting angry, doing this and that, and Tim's like, listen, this is a sensitive situation, so if something is being brought to you or to us to help, you cannot do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get so whatever that... Okay. It's some tissue. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm sorry, Cash. One second. You good? Okay, let me go finish dying in my room. Ugh. Thank you, D. I'm sorry I had you out here waiting. I here up from the waiting for you. Ooh. Huh? I said you got somebody waiting for you? No, 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 no. He was waiting for me. I'm sorry. So, you saying John Jolin couldn't hold water, huh? No, no, I mean, she's very emotional. That's why I told you the other day. I understood her anxiety, her emotions. Because I was like, you know, she's going through it right now. So it was like a lot of things that happened against me, even New York and what I had to go through at that hotel with Lifetime and all this stuff. It was embarrassing. It was confrontational. I was harassed. She gave my phone number to people that was trying to be violent. I mean, it was a fiasco in New York. Damn. And I still, I still did not, like, them just apologize to me for over and over again. And I still dealt with them after that. After everybody was telling me not to. Even the other people involved in this the situation were saying, listen, don't. I can tell you everything they done said bad about you to all of us, this and that, you know, whatever. They, they were telling me not to, but I was like, you know, no, they under pressure, you know, all of this. And that's why I kept saying, you know, it's just because of the experience I had that just really, you know. It was like, mm, mm. <clears throat> but what really took the take was the audio recording because it definitely caught them off guard. And then the flirting part, okay, this is what happened. The audio recording, somebody sent it to them or whatever. She sent it to them, whatever it went. I know they got it because when they called me, I was just waking up. They woke me up. It was like five in the morning. And Tim going off, and it was so much going on, and I'm just waking up, so I'm trying to wake myself up. I'm like, well, wait, what's, what's going on? And I guess because Tim was so afraid, because he knew all of the flirting and all the different stuff he had done, and he didn't know there was any audio, so I think he didn't know what they had. So he went into confessing to John Jolin at that point. Because... He didn't know what they had, so it was like, okay, I got to tell her. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I got to tell her what I've been saying. 
And what really hurt Josh the most was this baby stuff with him talking about he wanted me to have his baby because it really bothered him that she couldn't have no more kids and he don't have a son to carry on his last name and all of this and, you know, stuff like that. That's why I said he could say he was flirting all he wants to get information, but it was the stuff that he said and the stuff that he did. And Jonathan knows, listen, that wasn't for no information. And I think that's what but I just I just want to let you be aware see that's what I was trying to tell you the last time is that way before any of this was ever ever came out they had told me about the flirting he told me and she was standing right there and they was telling me yeah we're we we um set him up to flirt with the girl now at the time I didn't know who you were because it was long ago and right. I told him um uh, he told me and she was standing right there. She was co-signing and talking with him. Yeah, he. we set up this girl. He flirted with her so we can get information. So that's why I said she knew about it. I'm positive that she knew about it because she told me way before any of this happened yeah. that she okay. had him flirting with you. And you know what? That's probably at the point where he separated us completely. But he was like, from this point on, like, you only talk to me. Like, because Jonathan don't know how to behave and this and this and that and all of this. So, me and Jonathan weren't talking on our own anymore. It was just everything was going to him. And I, I think, you know, you were right when you said that she probably knew, but she just didn't know to what extent. So, I think that's what had her like, well, wait a minute, what? Because, like, even the story he tried to tell her about, you know, old past flirted with me. And, you know, I told her I can't do that, this, that, or whatever. And then he jumped to say that he told me that I could be their surrogate. And it's like, damn, that doesn't even make sense. You know, like, uh, why, why would you tell me I could be your surrogate? Like, whatever, okay. That's that's a bit um, much. But... Yeah, because he wasn't talking about no surrogate. Right. And I was like, Tim, how would you even pull something like that off? And he was like, oh, I tell them, like, it's my god baby or whatever. I'm like, so it's going to be your god baby that's going to have your last name, Savage. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and he was just like, he didn't even know if he wanted to be with her no more. Um, You know, I, it, it was a lot. And it was embarrassing for me because I'm like, come on, man. Like, that's why I kept saying stuff. I'm like, Tim, don't, don't do that. You know, I, I even gave him a speech one day. You know, y'all going through a lot of emotional stuff right now with your daughter, you know, so y'all probably not in the place y'all was before, but don't, don't do that. Because, you know, she can't have no more kids, and I don't like the way she behaves. Like, you know how you deal with lifetime, and you know how to behave and how to present yourself, and she sitting around here acting a fool all the time, and this and that. Like, I don't even like that shit. And, I mean, he was really, like, attracting himself. That's why I was like, okay, sure, that was her information, okay. That's, you know, I, I don't, that is, that's wild to me, especially because, um, because she assured me, she was the one who brought it up. She assured me that she knew about it. But this, like I said, was long ago. I, that's surprising for me to hear. What was this about the squirting? Oh, Lord. Cause he, let me say, mm-hmm. <laughs> there's been times, just started being alone a lot, all of a sudden. And that's why I felt like it was odd, because he was always alone calling me, and then, you know, the conversations got sexual. And it's like, I felt like she knew about some of it, because if I would bring something up certain times, Tim would try to behave himself. And he would say, oh, let's play. So I'm like, okay, she must be right there. Then, there was other times where he goes into this, and stuff, and mm, not a I'm like, uh, Tim, like, come on now. That's when I knew Tim was being Tim. And he asked me if I could bird, and I'm like, okay, I'm trying to talk to you about joy, and he going into all this other stuff, talking about taking trips to Key West, and let's go do blah, 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 and then he got pissed off. They went to, because I'm pretty sure you know Johnson's mom is sick right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, they went up to Tennessee, I think it was around the holidays, you know, to visit her mom, you know, see her, everything like that. And um, Tim was calling me and saying, like, he wanted to meet up in Atlanta, like, he was going to leave, like, a vehicle for them and leave them in Tennessee. 
and he wanted to meet up. So I just kept making excuses, like, oh no, you know, I'm gonna be out of town. You know, I wasn't, but I just make it. I'm not trying to meet that man. Right. And um, she looked like meeting with somebody else's husband. Right, and he got so pissed off. Like he was so pissed off because Josh and them was coming back with him. I was like, this is insane. Like, it was just too much. It's it was too much. much. That's why when she was on the phone, I'm like, Josh, trust me, I don't want him. Like, I do not, and I know in her mind, because to me, what it sounded like with Josh and the whole stuff, I know how I look. I know how I look. Like, I'm like, I don't want to but it's just for John Glenn, I think that they've been in that space before with cheating and stuff like that. So I think that for her, I mean, you know your husband. You know what kind of person he's married to. Mm-hmm. If this was really about some set up stuff only and they were setting me up, John Glenn wouldn't still be asking what all was said. You know? No, I think that I think that it was a set up. I mean, this is my consensus, what I got from it. I think it was a setup for him to flirt with you, but I think that perhaps he tried to take it, maybe, according to you, sounds like he tried to take it into his own hands for what reason, I don't know. It just went But let me ask you this. Did you start, because there's, there's like... Rumors that you started falling for R. Kelly your damn self. That I started falling for him? Yeah, like you want to be with R. Kelly too. <laughs> I mean, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? No, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. So I was falling for him. Yeah. No. That's what you ain't you ain't seen and heard people saying that. I haven't paid attention to what anybody's been saying around me. Because oh. honestly, I don't like a system like that. So I this whole thing is like blowing me. I don't like I don't want attention. Like that's not. Unfortunately, I can't, I don't have a choice in this matter, apparently, but I don't, that's not what I'm about, so I have any of that stuff. But, you know, I am calling for him for what? If the man has, no, I'm sorry. Uh, no. Now, I come from being sad way back when, of course. Well, I mean, I like his old stuff. But, as far as, like, Romantically, like, falling for him? No. How can I? No. Shit, you I'm not into the You pretty much became a part of his camp. That's what he used to do. 